Hi there, this is Rodney. And this is Angela. And this is Songs, Songs for, for the, the Soul. Soul. Where our testimony meets our harmony. To encourage and inspire individuals and couples. Who are overcoming infidelity. Amen. Well, today we have a one minute song that we are going to teach you and uh, present to you. And the song deals with anger. It teaches us what lies beneath anger, what primary emotions lie beneath anger. And um, for those of us in the recovery community, anger is one of those things that we have to deal with, right? Yes, but it can be a gift. Yes. Um, scripture says, be angry and sin not. And he tends to focus on the sin not, and I tend to focus on the be angry. Um, but both are necessary. Be angry, like for me, I tend to suppress my anger. And what do you do with your anger? Oh, I typically express it when I need to. <laughs> you get it out. You gotta get it out of me. You're, you, you are. Sometimes I overexpress it. I, I am and angry and I sin sometimes, I must admit. Well, if, if I'm not dealing with my anger, then I'm angry and sinning too. But the idea is for our emotions, there's nothing wrong with our emotions, but for our emotions to motion through us, to flow through us in a healthy way. And so yes. obviously, you know, infidelity and trauma and all those things, it's going to bring out anger. You know, I remember our counselor saying, you know, sometime your spouse needs to see the red in your eyes. So we need to um, love will show anger for um, a, a lot of different reasons. So there's nothing wrong with anger in and of itself. But when anger begins to um, out, be an outflow of, of sin, sin flows out of anger. Um, am I saying that right? Yes. And, you know, the Bible talks about fits of rage and the yeah. wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So just like anything else in excess and excess of expression, um, you know, name calling, cursing, all of those kinds yeah. of things at each other. Then we're getting into more dangerous territory. We're blowing our top um, and, right. you know, we're getting angry and, and blowing it instead of getting angry and, and not sinning. Yes. And so this is a tool that we're going to share with you today. We learned it from the EMS curriculum using the acronym GIFTS because underneath our anger would be G for what? Guilt. Guilt. I for inferiority. inferiority. F for fear. fear. T for trauma. trauma. S for shame. shame. So underneath our anger could be any of those things. And it, it could really, really lead to a very intimate vulnerable conversation. If I come home angry and I'm upset and she's wondering why I'm angry, for me to say I'm angry is one thing. But for me to say I felt inferior to your friends. You spent all this time with your friends and not any time with me. So that's that's a lot more vulnerable. I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Yes. And then okay. I want you to spend some time with me. Yeah. And not just your friends. So it it Make allows some reservations. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it allows room for us to be able to express the different emotions that are under there. It gives you a little more to work with than just anger. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Um we're thinking about uh, Jesus, you know, um, obviously in scripture, he never sinned. So you see Jesus angry, like when he was turning over the tables in the temple. Um, what was, what could have been underneath there? Um, uh, what emotions could have been underneath there? I think um, uh, inferiority, you all are trying to make small of me and my God. Mm -hmm. Um uh, 
you're trying to make small of my father and I and his house. Um, uh, trauma, it could have been traumatic, just, you know, <laughs> the sinfulness of man. Yeah. You know. We've probably all found that to be rather traumatic. And yeah. Yeah. So. Different ways. And the place that he knew was for worship. Yeah. of God to come and find it yeah, in disarray as far as um, the purpose. Right. So um, that's just an example in Scripture of Jesus being angry and without sin. And underneath there, there were some other emotions that um, he could have been experiencing. I think uh, the psychologists called them primary emotions, that anger is more a secondary emotion, but the primary emotions are the ones that are underneath there. And so it could open up to, for a great conversation. Absolutely. Um, I was going to say in the beginning of our healing process, um, I think for me, it obviously was the trauma, um, a lot of fear that I was dealing with. Um, inferiority, I felt like he had chosen others over me and that, um, that I was devalued, like I said. <laughs> um, and then the last one is, um, shame. shame. There was shame as well, you know, so I, I guess at first that first checked that, off most of That wasn't a good gift. <laughs> That wasn't the best gift, no. <laughs> but we we can't actually give our spouse a gift by thinking through G-I-F-T-S, guilt, mm -hmm. inferiority, fear, trauma, shame, and think what's underneath there and then use that for a conversation to, you know, um, bring you closer to each other. I'm really sorry that you felt those things. I appreciate that. And you know you're forgiven. Um, would you say that Shame was a major one for you. Shame, I and think guilt. I have the gift of having all the gifts. Because <laughs> guilt, I think for me, um, uh, was really important. Um, inferiority, fear, I deal with a lot of fear, a trauma, a lot of trauma, shame. I mean, yeah, I yeah, could, I could have the, the gift of all gifts. <laughs> so. But the reason that it can be a gift is because, number one, it tells you that there's something wrong. Um, also, it tells you that you're alive and you're responding to something, which is still a good thing. Um, you know, we've had arguments before where um, I had kind of checked out and something happened and I'm like, I'm not even angry anymore. Mm. I'm just numb. So that anger at least lets you know that I'm I'm in it <laughs> still. Yeah. I'm there's still fight. I've yeah. still got a dog in the fight. Once I realize that that anger is there, now I can unpack it and um, look beneath it and see what else is going on. So it's it's a red flag, no pun intended, um, <laughs> that that tells us that something needs to be dealt with. Yeah, that's so good. I think that's it. I think that's For now, it. I think we should go ahead and get ready to present the song. Now, the song, this is a song that deals with actually going through the acronym of GIFTS. And we're planning for some of the staff. And one of the uh, feedback I got was when they listened to the angry song, when they were angry, it made them more, more angry. So, so this is not the type of song that is necessarily going to uh, de-escalate your anger. This song is really, really to prepare you and educate you about anger. And remind you, because when you're in that situation, then you might think back, okay, what is it? What's what are the gifts? Me? Right. And, you know, hopefully yeah. at some point, just, just that little reminder. It's just to put a seed, plant a seed. Yes. That can germinate later. Yeah. So it is kind of a, a fun song. Um, uh, so let's, uh, let's present it. All right. All right. The Angry Gifts song. Hope it helps. All right. Enjoy. And thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching.
All right. God bless. Bye. Bye. -bye. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. When you get angry, tell me what do you feel? Is it guilt? Is it inferiority? Is it fear? Is it trauma? Is it shame? What emotion do you have beneath? When you get angry, tell me what do you feel? Is it guilt? Is it inferiority? Is it fear? Is it trauma? Is it shame? What emotion do you have beneath? Tell me what do you feel? Is it you? Is it inferiority? Is it fear? Is it trauma? Is it shame? What emotion do you have beneath? What emotion do you have beneath? What emotion do you have beneath?